There are many different types of scales that you may be using when you're getting your patient's weight. Here in, in this lab, we have a standing scale. Um, and I wanted to do a little bit of orientation for you because this can be kind of a challenge to read sometimes. First, we'll focus on the weight. When your skill talks about balancing the weight, the arm here, the, the, this bar needs to be balanced right here so it's floating in the air. This reads zero as well as this, um, this weight reads zero. So that tells you that if there's nothing on the scale, this is exactly balanced. That's how you know it's balanced. After your patient has stepped on the scale, um, what you need to do is you need to move this bottom weight over. And this is marked off in 50s. As you can see, it's 0, 50, 100, 150. And so you would have this go over to 100 here. And then you also have to try to get this to balance out again. You have to move this um, smaller, the smaller number up here. And let's say your patient weighs right here. You'd have to take 100 and add the 28 pounds. But if you notice here, these are marked off in even numbers. So it's 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, all the way down. In between the even numbers, there's this longer, the longer line here. And so this is 29 pounds. In between the whole pounds, there are, additionally, there are four smaller marks. So when this, when this per person, if there, if there was a person on here, and this person weighed this amount, it would be 128 and a half pounds. If a person weighed 150 pounds, if, they, I mean, if we had brought this over to 150, and the bar, if the bar would balance about right there, this would person would weigh 37 and 3 quarters plus 150, which would put them at 187 and 3 quarters pounds. So that's just a little bit of an orientation as to how the, the scale works. For the height bar, you have, um, for the height bar, you have, these are marked in inches, and you only measure these in inches. You don't, you don't pay any attention at all to the centimeters. And what you do is, these are marked in quarter inches here. So if this person is less than 49 and 3 quarters inches tall, if this, if this person stood on this, let's say I had a person here, and they stood on this scale, this would be 47 and 1 quarter inch tall. But if they're taller than 49 and a quarter inches, you have to read from the top down. So if a person, let's say, was here and the, this bar would have to be flat against their head, and you read, read the scale, this is 68 inches and a quarter and a half. This is 68 and a half inches tall, actually, is how tall this person is. So that's a little bit of orientation, and we will work on this in lab, but I think it helps if you can at least see the numbers that you're going to be working with a little bit closer.